Thank you, Chair. Um, also, I won't be supporting the 30% figure within the town. I think we're pulling up the drawbridge for the 7,000 on the waiting list. We had a, a presentation <coughs> a couple of weeks ago where we said we needed a minimum of, of 300 homes um, to, to house those people a year. I mean, this 30% is not going to deliver 300 homes. I mean, we're taking a snapshot in, in time with the, this particular figure. I mean, I think we should aim high, high with the seal and high with affordability as well. I mean, we, we've got a lot of scope as well. We, we own a lot of the land that's coming forward. The county own a lot of land as well. Um, and we can get good returns if we're flexible with our land prices. I mean, like other authorities have given up their land um, and forever for homes to be built on and they get a return through the rent. They get better return than the 4.6% we will be getting on our cost of coffee investment. So, you know, and, and it's morally correct as well, unlike our decision on cost of coffee. Um, and there's ever different sources as well of funding which we can also use. I mean, Councillor James is quite right. We could use a new home bonus money for infrastructure. I mean, we, we, but currently we're going to put 20% to support a revenue budget. 40% for major infrastructures, yes, could cover things in this local plan, but we're going to have 40% for a capital bidding um, process for what I can see for local councillors. That is not strategic. That 40% that should be put in to, to the major capital um, budgets for infrastructure impro improvements. I mean, I know this is...